No one can say for sure just how many caves there are in the world. As it stands now, there are about 17,000 in the United States alone that we know about. From the wet limestone caves of Mexico to those formed by magma and ice in Scandinavia, join me for today's video. We're going to check out the top 15 most stunning caves in the world. Number 15. Derinkuyu, Turkey Kicking off our list is one of the oldest series of caves in the world. If you ever travel to Turkey, then you have to check out the underground cities of Derinkuyu in Cappadocia. Dating back to 1200 BC, Derinkuyu is just under 200 feet below the Earth's surface, comprising a series of cities connected by miles and miles of tunnels and caves, which have all been carved right into the area's volcanic rock. The city is multi-leveled, and the deepest regions go down about 300 feet into the Earth. Now, this underground metropolis was home to about 20,000 people and once produced lots of amenities like wine and oil, but was also home to stables, cellars, and chapels. There's also a large 180-foot ventilation shaft to keep fresh air circulating and provide water to the villagers. In total, there are over 600 entry points into the city, which were largely used to hide and protect citizens during wartime. And the story behind the discovery of this deep series of structures is a funny one. In 1963, a Turkish man was tearing down the walls of his home basement and stumbled across Terenkuyu. Since then, it's remained an incredibly popular tourist destination. Number 14. Waitomo Glowworm Caves Hiding out in New Zealand is a location that looks like it could have made it into the Lord of the Rings production. The Waitomo Glowworm Caves offer an experience like no other on the country's North Island. And if the name isn't already a dead giveaway, these caves are known for the population of Arachnocampa luminosa glowworms that you literally can't find anywhere else in the world. Geological and volcanic activity created around 300 known limestone caves in the Waitomo region over the last 30 million years, and these specific caves were still under the ocean about 30 million years ago. The limestone of Waitomo are composed of fossilized corals, seashells, and fish skeletons, all condensed over millions and millions of years and are about 700 feet thick in certain areas. The movements of the earth cause the hard limestone to bend and buckle under the ocean and rise above the seafloor, and as the rock was exposed to air, it separated and created cracks and weaknesses that allowed water to flow through them and dissolving the limestone over millions of years, and large caves were formed. Water would drip, carrying limestone deposits with it to create the thousands of stalactites and stalagmites jutting from the floor and ceiling as they give off their otherworldly glow. And because these formations usually grow at just one cubic centimeter every hundred years, it took a long time to get where we are today. Now the caves are open to the public, where visitors can take boat tours and see these stunning glowworms light the cave. The adult worms are just the size of an average mosquito. Number 13. Marble Cathedral Head over to Chile to see the Marble Cathedral, a series of marble caves in Cuevas de Marmol that are accessible only by boat. The epic natural wonder is the product of more than 6,000 years of erosion caused by waves beating against the rock day in and day out. Found on Lake General Carrera, the otherworldly and perfectly smooth rock beautifully reflects the seafoam green water and sapphire blues. It's got more of a frosty gray finish. When you visit the Marble Cathedral, it's hard to believe that they weren't man-made, but believe it, they're all natural. And they can even change colors during the year to reflect the water levels and sunlight. In the spring, the walls take on a more turquoise hue, while in the summer months, as the glaciers melt and the sea levels rise, they reflect a deeper shade of blue. The walls essentially provide a blank canvas for some amazing natural artwork. But to add to the mystery and mysticism of the caves, from the outside, they're incredibly unassuming. It isn't until you venture inside that the real magic happens. So save up your money, because one visit to the Marble Cathedral in Chile is obviously not enough. Number 12. Elora Caves India is pretty old, so it makes sense that there's going to be a ton of ancient ruins dotted around the country. But there's one in particular that really stands out, the Elora Caves. This place is ridiculously awesome. Located in Maharashtra, the Elora Caves date all the way back to the year 600 AD and were built by the Buddhist, Hindu, and Jain monks. But they weren't working with all the same luxuries of construction that we've grown accustomed to today. These caves were built by hand using some old-school tools, and it took the builders over five centuries to craft. Imagine starting on a project knowing that you, your children, and your children's children, and even their children, will never see it through. That's some serious dedication right there. 
The Ellora Caves are made up of a series of monasteries, chapels, and temples carved right into the side of the basalt cliffs. In all, it comprises about 100 caves, only 34 of which are available to the public. The real highlight here, though, is the Kailasa Temple, which is dedicated to the creator, protector, and destroyer, the Hindu god Shiva, and holds the largest monolithic sculpture in the world. Number 11. Praia Nakon Cave Thailand is home to a rich and beautiful culture full of powerful schools of thought, delicious food prepared with unique cooking practices, and one-of-a-kind architecture. But much of this architecture and structures have been formed by Mother Nature herself, with one of the greatest examples being the Praia Nakon Cave. Part of what makes this cave so awesome is that visiting it requires a bit of legwork to reach it, so if you want to behold all of its glory, then you're going to have to go for a bit of a hike in the humid climate. Sitting in the Khao Sam Royat National Park, this amazing cave is made of three caverns. The natural erosion of the limestone provides a dramatic result as light streams down through the large openings in the cavern roof. The light and precipitation allowed in by the hole in the roof encourage plant life within the cave, which makes it even more fantastic. Once you get in, you'll notice how Praia Nakon Cave is like no other in the world, with its pavilion set in the middle, bathed in natural light, trees guarding it in a sea of stalactites and stalagmites surrounding them. It's enough to leave your jaw on the floor, but a place like this is bound to bring in hundreds if not thousands of tourists a day, especially in the high season. So if you're looking to get a glimpse of greatness, then get there early. It's also said that the perfect sunlight stream going down onto the pavilion happens from 10 to 12 in the morning. Number 10. Cave of Swallows If you're not careful, the next cave on our list will swallow you up. This crazy cave of swallows is an open-air pit cave in Mexico. The elliptical mouth is about 160 by 200 feet wide, and it's undercut all around of its perimeter, widening to a room approximately 995 by 440 feet. So if you're looking to explore this place, you better be an expert, because the only way to go is down, and that's a pretty far drop. How far? Well, the floor of the Cave of Swallows is about a 1,092-foot freefall drop from the lowest side of the opening, with a 1,214-foot drop from the highest side, making it the largest known cave shaft in the world, the second deepest pit in Mexico, and even the 11th deepest sheer drop in the world. Wow! So what exactly goes on in such a deep cave? Well, for starters, the temperature here is pretty low, so vegetation is much thicker at the mouth. But the cave floor is covered with a thick, delicious layer of guano. And aside from bats, the Cave of Swallows is inhabited by millipedes, scorpions, insects, snakes, and birds. Specifically, swallows. At the floor, which is already well below sea level, and at the bottom of the main shaft, there's a series of narrow pits known as the crevice, totaling some 460 feet, which brings the total depth of the cave to 1,690 feet. This would make it the lowest accessible point at more than a thousand feet below sea level. An extreme place like this is bound to attract some extreme people, and so the Cave of Swallows is a hot spot for vertical cavers. Bolts have been installed in the rock at the low side of the cave and cleared of obstruction. Repelling here can take a full hour, and climbing back up, well, that can take about two hours. But if you've got a parachute, then you're looking at a 10-second freefall from the mouth of the guano-covered floor. Number 9. Fingal's Cave One of the coolest places in Scotland and one of the most famous caves of its kind, Fingal's Cave can be found in the southwest coast of Staffa, on an island of the Inner Hebrides. Made of rich, dark basalt, the length of Fingal's Cave can vary between 227 feet and 270 feet, and its arch roof is said to reach between 66 and 72 feet above sea level, and is about 40 feet wide. Its floor is covered by about 25 feet of water, so make sure to bring your water shoes if you ever get the chance to visit this one. The cave is embedded in symmetrical, hexagonally jointed basalt columns that were formed from lava flows by cooling and pressure, and they've looked like they've been placed there by the giants of fairy tales. There's no doubt that the basalt columns are the most notable feature here, but when you get inside, things are just as magnificent, offering both sights and sounds. The cave's arched roof lends its remarkable natural acoustics that harmoniously echo the sound of the swelling ocean waves within it, and it could probably make for the greatest concert hall ever. Fingal's Cave shares its geological origins with the Giant's Causeway of Northern Ireland, which it may have once been connected to via the same massive lava flow. 
And much like the Giant's Causeway, Fingal's Celtic legendary origins are found by many in the exploits of Finn Macomo in Gaelic literature. Nowadays, Fingal's Cave is a hot spot amongst tourists, with one of the most famous visitors being renowned novelist Jules Verne. Number 8. Skocjan Caves one of the most monumental underground features in the world, Slovenia's Skocjan Caves looks like it could be home to a dragon hoarding its gold as it slumbers. It's often referred to as the Underground Grand Canyon. The Eastern European cave system features one of the largest subterranean chambers in the world. The biggest room in the limestone cave network, known as Martel's Chamber, is a gaping canyon that was formed by the natural underground flow of the Rika River, which still rushes along the bottom of the chasm today. Thanks to the amount of water that flows through the canyon, the cave also holds a number of eye-catching geological features like the limestone pools, travertine terraces, and giant stalagmite formations. The cave's unique spaciousness also plays host to a number of species of bat, countless unique bioorganisms, and even a variety of fish that have never seen the light of day. It truly is a remarkable part of our Earth, with its very own subterranean ecosystem. Thanks to some human involvement, a bridge has been built spanning the wide and long chasm so visitors can experience the colossal geologic divide firsthand. Archaeologists in the area found that the caves were home to humans as far back as 10,000 years ago. It's likely that the caves were used by ancient people for shelter, but perhaps the best feature of this cave is that there's no photos allowed, so memories must stay in the heart. Number 7. Mendenhall Ice Caves Outside of fifth grade science class, there aren't too many places in the natural world where you can experience every stage of the water cycle at once. But there's pure magic in the Mendenhall Ice Caves, where water runs over rocks and under frozen bright blue ceilings inside a partially hollow glacier. The Mendenhall Glacier is a 12-mile long glacier in the Mendenhall Valley, just 12 miles from downtown Juneau in southeast Alaska. The glacier originally had two names, Sitan Taugu, translating to Glacier Behind the Town, and Awakwataksi, or Glacier Behind the Little Lake. Inside the glacier are the stunning blue ice caves, accessible only to those willing to kayak to the edge of the ice and then climb over the glacier, making it all the more special. But because this is a glacier, the Mendenhall ice caves are on a timetable that only seems to move faster as years go by. Sadly, this Alaskan glacier is retreating incredibly fast as climate change warms the ocean, thereby melting the caves. The Mendenhall Glacier has receded almost two miles since 1958, while previously it had receded only half a mile since 1500. Oof. So while the Mendenhall Ice Caves really look like something from our imagination, there's going to come a time when that's all they really will be, a figment of our collection imagination. A figment of our collective imagination. A thing of the past. Number 6. Niagara Cave On Minnesota's southern border is a geological spectacle known as Niagara Cave. This subterranean grotto is among the largest in the American Midwest, and it's home to a breathtaking 60-foot subterranean waterfall, 100-foot-high ceilings, ancient fossils, unusual limestone rock formations, calcite flowstone, an echo chamber, and even a wedding chapel for the adventurous. The Niagara Cave feels more like a living, breathing entity than it does a dank rock formation. This brown gold cave was discovered in 1924, when legend has it is that three pigs disappeared from a nearby farm and ended up in a sinkhole. When their owner went looking for the lost little piggies, he didn't just find his livestock 75 feet underground, he also stumbled upon an underground series of chambers, and the rest, as they say, is history, and public tours started 10 years later. While the cavern itself is likely millions of years old, Niagara Cave has a more modern claim to fame. In 2015, it became the first commercial cave in the world whose energy use is 100% offset by solar energy, with a large photovoltaic solar panel array producing about 45,000 kilowatts of energy per year. And just to put into perspective how vast this place is, the guided tours of this American cave take a full hour. Number 5. Han Sung Dung Roughly translating to Mountain River Cave, Hang Sung Dung in Vietnam is the world's largest cave. So large, in fact, that it can hold a modern-day skyscraper inside of its caverns and has its own small jungle. Located near the Vietnam-Laos border, the cave was found by a local man named Ho Khan in 1991. The locals, it said, were too afraid of the cave to go exploring because of the sound coming from the fast-moving underground river, as well as the huge vertical drop. And who could blame them? 
the cave was generally left untouched until 2009 when a group of scientists from the British Cave Research Association began an extensive survey of the cave's depths. According to the man leading the survey, the cave is five times larger than Phong Nha, which once held the title of the largest in Vietnam, and the biggest chamber is over three miles long and almost a thousand feet tall. And then there's the subterranean jungle. The jungle of Han Sung Dung is formed underneath a collapsed roof in one of the caverns. Once the roof collapsed, just enough light spilled into the cavern so that vegetation was able to creep in slowly from outside. As the vegetation took hold, larger and larger plants began to grow, and now hornbills, flying foxes, and monkeys dwell in its branches. The entire process took years and is one of nature's happier accidents. And as you'd expect, Han Song Dung is a tourist hotspot, but tours aren't cheap. On the lower end, tours can start around three grand and go all the way up to five grand. Number 4. Batu Caves During Tai Pu Sam, an annual celebration of the triumph of good over evil, hundreds of thousands of pilgrims climb the seemingly never-ending 272 stairs up into the Batu Caves, carrying their symbolic burdens, which include elaborate body piercings. Despite their name, the Batu Caves are far more than a natural rock formation. They are a special spiritual and religious hideaway, home to the Malaysian interpretation of a Hindu festival celebrated among the Tamil community in countries like India, Sri Lanka, Singapore, Indonesia, Thailand, and Myanmar. Tai Pusam comes from two words, the Tamil month called Tai and a star named Pusam. Observed each year in January or February according to the Tamil calendar, the festival of Tai Pusam honors the Hindu god Murugan and his victory over the demon Saradpadman with his vel or lance. Festival goers wearing yellow or orange observe traditions including shaving of the head, representing the fulfillment of vows to Murugan and thanking him for favors done or in advance for future favors sought. But back to the caves. Located seven miles north of Kuala Lumpur, the Batu Caves were made famous in 1878 by zoologist William Temple Hornady. During Malaysia's colonial heyday, the caves were a popular site for picnicking British couples, with nearly 300 stairs added in more recent times. In 2006, a 140-foot-tall concrete statue of Murugan was added at the foot of the stairs in the weeks preceding Tai Pusam, with a giant chrysanthemum garland draped around his shoulders by a construction crane. But the Batu Caves are also home to some more unique residents, monkeys. The caves are home to colonies of long-tailed macaque monkeys that roam the stairs and the caves and have been known to swipe sunglasses, cameras, and snacks from tourists. More than a million people pay the Batu Caves a visit, so these are probably some of the best-fed monkeys in the world. Number 3. Ellison's Cave Fantastic Pit Inside Ellison's Cave in Walker County, Georgia is a truly mind-blowing sight and a stomach-turning sight, Fantastic Pit. Fantastic Pit is the deepest cave drop in the United States, plunging vertically for a horrific 586 feet. It's almost as tall as Seattle's Space Needle and about twice the height of the Statue of Liberty. Yet don't look down. Ellison's Cave is the 12th deepest cave in the United States, stretching for about 12 miles in length with a total vertical descent of 1,063 feet. That alone should be a viable claim to fame, but it's the cave system's unobstructed underground caves that make it truly one of a kind, with the Fantastic Pit being the largest draw. On the opposite side of the cave is Incredible Pit, with an unobstructed depth of 440 feet. Smoky 1 and Smoky 2, 500 and 262 feet respectively, 125-foot deep warm-up pit, and a few other more shallow pits complete what is an amazing solutional cave system, all formed in the soluble limestone rock. What you get in the end is a dark, echoing, and labyrinthine system with seven different routes to the cave floor and plenty of horizontal passages that only Batman could possibly navigate without a guide. And as you would assume, reaching the death-defying Fantastic Pit is no easy feat. To get there, cavers first have to descend the aptly named Warm-Up Pit, which is a challenge unto itself. Once at the top of the cave, there's a cramped space called the Attic, and from there, cavers descend into the gigantic chasm. It's certainly not for beginners, not even close, and only the most experienced spelunkers are encouraged to enter Ellison Cave, let alone tackle the Fantastic Pit. Number 2. Cave of the Crystals Alright, pick up your sword because you're venturing into the Cave of Crystals to slay the dragon and get the gold. Alright, maybe not, but if you ever do get the chance to actually venture into the Cave of Crystals in Chihuahua, Mexico, it'd be hard not to feel like you walked into a fantasy setting. The Cave of Crystals is connected to the Nika Mine almost a thousand feet below the Earth's surface, and it's absolutely covered with selenite crystals. 
And I'm not talking about small ones either. These things are huge, with most of them measuring in at 20 feet in length, but the larger ones can go on for about 65 feet. The crystals formed from gypsum-saturated water flowing through the caves that were rapidly heated and cooled by the Earth's magma below over the course of 500,000 years. This place is beyond stunning, but the catch is that the temperature in the cave typically sits around 120 degrees Fahrenheit with 100% humidity, so it really is impossible for human beings to exist down there for more than a few hours. But it's hard enough to make it even a few minutes down there without feeling like you're melting. Number 1. Vatna Jokl Glacier Caves Iceland has no short of natural wonders, from its black sand beaches to the Yellow River and the Aurora Borealis. But lurking beneath the surface is something more extraordinary than we can possibly imagine. Iceland's Vatna Jokl Glacier is the largest glacier on the European continent, and it's filled with countless ice caves. And to keep up with the ever-changing landscape, these ice caves change their size and form and can disappear from one year to another, or as well, new ones might form. Each year, Icelanders hunt for new ice caves and decide on which ones are safe to visit and which are not. It's an interesting hobby for cave enthusiasts everywhere looking to uncover a new subterranean mystery, but winter is the best time to pay these cold caves a visit, seeing as how it's the safest time to go and have the help of a local guide. A great question to ask is just how do these glacier caves even form? Unlike so many others, they don't depend on tectonic plates, rock formations, or the changing of the world's oceans over millions of years. Instead, we have something a little different. These caves are formed by the melting glacial ice water during the spring and summer, which are the times nature is carving new shapes into these incredible caves. But safe passage through these caves comes at a bit of a steep price, with guided tours usually starting around 190 bucks. But it's well worth the price, because these ice caves offer some of the most impressive natural blue hues in the world. The Vatna Jokl Glacier Caves are a great reminder that there are some forces at work on this Earth that are far beyond human comprehension. I'll see you next time.